so much. And I'm so glad I didn't then because I could just authentically be myself without so much preparedness. It is so tough to deal with somebody who does not behave like a normal human with morals, where they could smile at you, gaslight you, while trying to discredit you at every turn. So we're gonna examine this situation so we can learn how to defend ourselves. Megan does a great deal of what I call the aggression gaslight cycle. So she'll do something aggressive or passive aggressive, most of the time there will be some plausible deniability it might have some out where it could be explained away to make it easier to gaslight so it'll be aggression gaslight and then back to the next aggressive act for example in the last video you saw the texts that were sent between kate and megan and kate was texting pretty much matter of fact whereas megan was clearly uh, aggressive in her texting or at least colder and then that turns into the story that Megan was crying over the text so she's constantly changing history Shut it up. was she was now the victim she and she just will pound on that narrative over and over and then it goes through a cycle so that's loop one and now you go in the second loop would be when she's arguing with Kate she says you have baby brain now keep in mind the context right she's saying this when they are arguing when they're really having a serious argument and she's using this to totally discredit her so then Megan's gaslighting is friends that's how I talk with my friends we're just comfortable but again keep in mind one maybe a lot of people wouldn't talk to their friends like that but two the context was this was an insult to discredit Kate so that is absolutely not friend talk. It is her gaslighting and changing the past. And this is a cycle that she'll use over and over. And it can be really difficult when someone is doing this to you. When they're doing things, but then they explain it away. They act like you're a friend. And that's how we're going to get into exactly how this can be fixed. And what Kate did during this second cycle. The solution is very simple, but understanding the underlying principles is very important. So in situations like this, what people often will rely on, these people who have these sociopathic tendencies, is they will do things to you as they act as your friend. I call it pulling one over on you with a smile. Uh, there's other words I use for it, but uh, to keep it PG, YouTube friendly, they're pulling one over on you with a smile. And they are relying on social pressure it feels weird it it doesn't make sense it's a form of gaslighting if someone's smiling at you while they're doing something incredibly rude or incredibly wrong that's so obviously wrong i had an example of this where i was talking with someone about doing business with them and he essentially with a total smile asked me to cut myself out of the deal and give him information to get in contact with my contact. This was a real estate situation. And he did it with a total smile. And at the time it confused me. But that's why the solution I'm gonna give you is so powerful and it is simple. Kate calls Megan out. She says, what you are doing is wrong. Calling about my hormones is, talking about my hormones is wrong to do. And this is really powerful because it takes away the power of this person to continually play these games, to drag you into these games. And it is, again, a form of gaslighting because the way they are acting towards you, acting as in pretending, is so different from the actions they are taking. So it's very confusing. By calling them out, that becomes a lot more difficult to do. But here's the other thing. It's not like they're always going to admit Oh, you're right. They may continue to try and gaslight you, but if you can change the lens through which you see them, that is a huge difference. For example, when you're seeing, oh, are they my friend? Are they normal? It can be so confusing when they're doing these things. But now that you've put it out in the open, and even if they won't accept that lens, now you have that lens, you view them as a manipulator. You don't view them like, oh, this is a normal person. You view this person as a predator 
it becomes so much easier to deal with. For example, in my situation, if I just viewed it, oh, this guy's a dirtbag, he does this to people, he's trying to pull one over on me, it's a lot easier to move forward. It's okay, he's trying to trick me into something with social pressure, I'm going to say no, or I'm going to do business without him, or view him as a competitor so that is the huge thing is is directly calling them out but then even if it does not change their behavior to now look at them through a different lens you've done the call out they're probably gonna have a difficult time dealing with it and now at the very least you have a new lens through which to view them which is gonna be a lot more helpful to you it's gonna break through a lot of that